Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss some important quiz question on this particular topic. Okay, that is measure of spread. One of the topic, very important topic from statistics part of data science, which you must know before going to any interview related to data science or machine learning. Okay, so let's start with our first question. The question is, find the mean and population standard deviation for this data set. Okay, 63322. Four options are there. Pause my video, try to calculate the correct answer and then check whether you have predicted the correct answer or not. Here I am explaining. Okay, calculating mean, very simple. Just add all of these numbers and divide by how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divide by 5. So 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 divide by 5. Okay, that's it. Will give us the mean. Now, what about this population standard deviation? Here actually our trick is present. Remember, population standard deviation, sample standard deviation are not same. I have already discussed. Sample standard deviation formula is square root of summation over x. That is each individual data point minus of x bar. That is mean. Okay. That is how much each data point are deviated from mean. Okay. That square summation over all of those divided by n minus 1. Where n is total number of data points present in our sample set. Okay. And then we are taking square root. That is giving us the standard deviation for sample. Whereas standard deviation for population formula is summation over x minus mu whole square. That is for each data point we will compute the difference uh, with respect to mean and then square them. Take sum of all of them. Divide by total number of data points present in that population set. That is n. And then taking square root. So the difference, major difference in this formula is here in this particular denominator n minus 1 is used. Whereas here n, that is total number of data points is used for population. And why like this? The reason also I have explained. You should not consider any formula blindly. You should understand the intuition behind that. Then you can easily remember that particular formula. It will not appear as burden or simple things to mug up. Okay. Just simply try to interpret that particular formula. So again I am giving a quick recap. Suppose this is my population data. I am taking a small sample from population and I am creating this sample data set. Now it is quite obvious. Suppose based on a particular characteristics of a population we are getting the mean somewhere here. Then as there are lots of points present in the whole population. So when we are taking difference with respect to mean. Okay. Then obviously that will be more compared to this particular scenario where we are taking a small part and then suppose the mean of this sample is coming here. Then the obviously deviation with respect to mean will not be that much. Okay. So what I want to say as population is expanded in a bigger region. That's why the deviation with respect to mean will be more. That is for population this particular numerator will be more compared to our this particular numerator of sample. Right. Up to this I hope it is clear. Now. Always in inferential statistics, what we do, we try to get idea about population from sample parameter, right? Now here, suppose in this particular part, we are writing n, that is total number of data points present in sample. Okay, like here we have used that time, what problem we might get as already numerator are not balanced for population, it is more than sample and if we are divided by same kind of parameter, that is total number of data points present in sample in this case and total number of present data points present in the population, that time obviously this particular term will not be a good representative of our population standard deviation. Because already in numerator, this value is high and this value is less. Okay. And now we are not at all compensating at denominator. So what do you do? To make the standard deviation of sample uh, a good representative of population, we decrease the denominator also. Okay, if we decrease, as numerator is decreased, if we decrease the denominator, then overall standard deviation for the sample will go up, which can be a good representative of our 
population right that's why in sample standard deviation we use n minus 1 whereas in population standard deviation we use n right so now we have this data 63322 simply either go use calculator or you can use this particular uh, code also okay which i have already discussed on how to calculate the standard deviation using mean function we are computing mean and display we are displaying that mean and here using this for loop we are computing this square deviation of each data point from mean and then uh, dividing by total number of data points because this is population so not subtracting by one and then taking square root because this is giving us variance but if we require standard deviation then we have to take square root of variance that is sqrt function we are using and we are getting this result 3.2 as mean 1.4679 as standard deviation so correct answer is option a okay coming to the next question find the mean and sample standard deviation for this data okay not mm, already discussed the formula simple pause my video try to do an attempt because if you practice this kind of questions you will be getting very comfortable in the written round of data science interview okay so what will be the correct answer so the code will go like this here we have to put the data points and here length of x minus 1 and then take square root we will be getting this mean and this as standard deviation mean is 6.4 standard deviation is 3.3615 which is the option b Okay, coming to the next question, consider the small population 1 to 1, if each number is increased by 4, how will the population standard deviation change? Option A, it will be increased by 4 also. Option B, it will be increased by 16. Option C, it will be multiplied by 4. Option D, it will not be changed, getting changed. Okay, the population standard deviation will be same for both data set. So, pause my video, try to think about the correct answer. Here I am explaining. Okay. So whenever you get this kind of question, go to the formula and try to interpret. Okay. So what is happening? Each value, whether you are considering sample or whether you are considering population, it's kind of same concept is applicable for both. So each value, that is this x is getting increased by 4. Okay. That is suppose I am having one data point xi, it is becoming xi plus 4. Okay. So if all the data points are getting increased by value 4, the mean which is x bar will also be getting increased by 4 right this is simple mathematics i hope you can easily understand okay now what we are doing here in the numerator we are taking individual point how much they are deviated from mean so in that increased version of data points when you are doing the subtraction that will again basically become this part x i minus x bar because plus 4 minus 4 will cancel each other so as we are increasing each data point by value 4 mean is overall mean is also going to be increased by value 4 so when you are doing this kind of operation in the numerator for each data point it will again be boiled down to this particular formula which is earlier one so as you said numerator is not at all changing for both sample and population standard deviation and the denominator itself it is not at all changing because this is data points so if we are adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, whatever we are doing, total number of data points are not going to change, right? So, denominator constant, numerator also constant. So, adding 4 will be making no effect. So, option D, okay, is the correct answer. So, I hope you have understood this. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe my channel. If you have not subscribed till now, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. Thank you.